Hello everyone, it's Jen here, also known as the Diamond Painting Gamer. A very warm welcome to my channel. Hope oh, everybody is doing well. Uh, hello to new subscribers, old subscribers and uh, yeah, everybody in between. So, as you may have guessed, we have an unboxing from Craft Buddy and it is the biggest box I have ever had. Look, you know, it's it's not even going to fit on screen. It's absolutely ginormous. Um, yeah, and I've had this sitting for a while. Um, well, when I say a while, I ordered it probably a couple of weeks ago. So it's not been that long. Um, at the time of when I ordered, I spent uh, over a certain amount. I think it might have been £50. You got free... Um, a free storage case now unfortunately that offer is uh, no longer available so so yeah <laughs> but they do still have some really cool stuff so now i've had a ordered a couple of things from craft buddy before I haven't ordered a massive amount from them but yes i have ordered a few things before and uh, well, I've got to turn it this way. Um, I've ordered some um, diamond paintings and off the canvas projects and some paint by numbers as well. So I haven't done my paint by numbers yet. So. Okay, so we have all one. We have two. We have three, we have four, and we have five. Okay, so number five was actually my free gift. So um, let's move the box out of the way. It has now gone. <laughs> I do have a packing slip here that's good, so I can refer to the um, prices. Let's move this out of the way. We'll start with the free gift first. So, um, free gift is, I think it's a 30 bottle storage container. Um, you get storage containers like this like, all over the place in the little hard case. <clears throat> this one is um, got the uh, branding on it for... Uh, for craft buddy. I'm getting a nice little collection of storage now. So inside uh, we have stickers, we have the pouch here. I do like this storage. These um Craftmates Lockables and these types of storage containers are my two favourite types of storage. And oops, and there we go. So yeah, lovely absolutely lovely these hold a reasonable amount of drills actually fantastic no i've never have enough storage yeah 30 bottle container um yeah 30 bottle case so to say super well not really much more to say about this to be fair it's uh it's kind of like all the other screen shop container um uh, Casey's uh, got the branding on it, quite a nice little carry handle, absolutely perfect, couldn't ask for anything more. Right, okay, next. So, um, what are we going to go for? Right. So I have watched um, a few unboxings of um, the Crystal um Oh, the craft buddy um crystal art card kits and i thought you know what i'm going to give i'm going to have a go i'm going to have a look at it and see what they're like i have done dime, uh, uh, cards from um uh, budget sites i have also done cards I, I also used to make cards myself as well so um Right, I think this, uh, we'll just tear this open here. So I thought I'd just get a little generic card to try. Um, it's 
saying that you'll see some more stuff in a minute. <laughs> also, I've also got this little card just to bump up to over the fifty pound mark, actually, to get the um, to get my my case. So this little card here cost three pounds thirty nine. You know, it's it's quite small. It's like an a, it's an a um an A five card, but um or A six card, sorry. Um, but it's uh you know you, you can sometimes pay like upwards of three pounds for a, a greetings card in in the shops anyway. So it's you know not that much more really. Yeah, it's a ten by fifteen centimeter card um you've got the crystal codes on the back here so we have um a b c d e h j k yep and then we have yep okay so all looks good we have got our crystal codes we've got our uh, legend Fantastic. There's actually quite a lot of gems here for one little tiny card. I think it's because of all those different colours in the tree. Um, there is a toolkit. There's a white boat. It doesn't have a spout though. Um, some bags, some wax, um, a white pen. What looks like to be a two or a three placer at the end. Nice envelope with the cards, greeting card style envelope. And um, it's a partial tree, nothing inside, nice uh, blank. Put your own verse in there if you fancy it. Gems, as I said, a lot of gems for a lot of cards. Or a lot of different colours, should I say, for a lot of cards. So many different colours for a little card. And it's, oh, with the exception of the trunk of the tree, which is a black resin rose, um, it's all crystal rhinestones in special shapes. So it's going to be really colourful. So I've got a black, black resin. And then we've got some red, some green, some blue, some orange, some pale green. And some purple. So, um, the the um, craft buddy crystal kit, uh, kits I did before. I think it was some um, keychain mandala keychains. Um, I was taken really um, surprised with the quality and the vibrancy of the the um, crystals. They're really good. Um, so I've got some larger ones in blue, purple, red. Some larger yellows, some greens, lots and lots and lots of facets on these crystals. So it's going to be kind of like a bubble round effect on the tree. You've got the same um, colours but in different sizes. So here we've got gold again, green, red, uh, that, a bigger green. Oh, we've got that nice of like iridescent um a B coated uh, round gem there, smaller yellow, oh we've got lots of gold really, oh these have got little points to them, so these aren't rounded, these have actually got little points, and then some rounded blue, oh, rounded blue ones, so yeah that's a nice little card, great for us of a general sort of like thank you or you know, maybe a birthday. Um, but yeah, it's sort of like a generous, sort of like, thank you, thinking of you style card, I think. Okay, so that is the card. Um, okay, let me actually move them so that I don't uh, lose them. You know, get, get them into a... Sorry, I'm not very well organised at the moment. Okay, talking of cars, you know how I said I would get one that I would try? I also got a box <laughs> to try. So this is going to be everybody's Christmas cards this year for the nearest and dearest. Um, so this is a set of eight Christmas cards. 
uh, it's quite hefty actually so there are 18 by 18 centimeter cards here uh, i've got a robin a blue tit a cat a donkey and a little puppy some gnomes a penguin a couple of hares and a christmas wreath it's all very seasonal Yay. so this time in the card kit we've got a slightly larger tool kit you know bags again uh, the same boat got two pens this time no wax or is it hiding under the bags let me see Oh, there it is, it's hiding under the bags. Two plates of wax. Uh, we have... Um, kit contents in a little leaflet and also a diamond painting guide. We have, um, aha, here we go. This is what we need. Um, we have um, a legend for each card. So one for the robin, one for the hares, one for the gnomes and so on. That's fantastic. Now, unlike the other card, which was mostly crystals, I think these are just all mostly regular drills. But we'll have a look. These are a big card. You know, these are for special people, 18 by 18 centimetres. Now, this card kit cost £21.25. Now, there's eight cards in there, so if you break this down, oops, so £21.25 would be... £2.50 a card, right, right, right about £2.50, £2.70 a card I reckon, which you know for a card this size, you know, that, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, um, there's probably, you know, the other one's more expensive but that's probably because it's just bought singly, you know, <clears throat> imagine buying as a set, it's a bit more cost effective, you know, per card, so yeah about £2.50 a card, yeah. maybe a little more, £2.70 a card, yeah, which is which is really good value actually um, for for cards like this this quality and oh my gosh they are very good quality. That's so um, this card's really thick. I suppose it would need to be to hold the drills. Insides blank. I imagine they're all good. The insides for that all are going to be blank. Ooh, let's have a look at the pictures and let's see if we can find the drills for each one. Let's see which ones have got ABs or crystals and what ones we can bling up. Because it's Christmas. You've got to bling up the Christmas cards, haven't you? Right, okay. Let's start with our gnomes. So the cards are all partials. Um, the gnomes... Okay, so there are codes on this legend here. There are codes. So the codes for the gnomes as CCKXM108. So let's find 108. It would be the one at the bottom, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, here we go, 108. Oh, now we do have some specials in this one, so we'll look and see where they go. These would be great projects for kids to do, depending, you know, on, on their ages. You know, they could diamond paint a, a card for their granny or their auntie or, you know, what their best friend. That'd be cool. So we've got a couple of shades of green rhinestones. And then I think the rest down here are all a regular um, uh, resin drills. I think, um, if I remember right, Craft Buddy do resin drills. So we've got some white, 
and some different shades of green there grey and a pale pale yellow a nice Christmas red a peach another red and a grey let's see where the gems go L and K are the gems uh, the, not the gems sorry the rhinestones so up in the garland there at the top so that's all going to be crystal rhinestones up in the garland but none on the gnomes uh, we have got some special shapes so n are these small um silver crystals and that's going to be Oh, on that little gnome, the little gnome there. He's like a little snowman gnome, if you think about it. <laughs> it's very snowman-y. Um, ends here on his buttons and on his mittens. Uh, we have O, which are these round ones. And they go on the Christmas tree down here. And then we have M, which are these gorgeous faceted, almost like dragon scale that's what they remind me of um marquees and they form the christmas lights at the top so that is our gnomes but it makes sure i keep all these gems separate because i don't want to mix them up gnomes we've got our hairs hairs are uh 106 oops <laughs> it's the top one this time i like the hairs they're very good oh, they're lovely i wonder if these pieces are licensed to anybody because i know that craftbud do license the artwork Okay, again, we've got some specials in here. So we've got these H, these lovely um, green marquees. And that's going to be on the holly leaves and also on the leaves up here on the trees. And we also have rhinestones. So we have like a very, very pale gold, a red and a silver. And they are going to be G, F and E. So round the holly here. And again, up in the trees. Oh, and down here at the side and the, the uh, plants at the side as well. Wow. So basically, um, all this area here are all going to be um, rhinestones or specials. And then I think the hairs themselves are going to be just the resin drills. So we've basically got shades of cream and tan for the hairs. Or are they rabbits? I don't know. I thought they were I thought they were hairs because their bodies are quite long and their legs. So yeah, they're possibly hairs. Right. Okay, that's our rabbits. Or hairs, should I say? <gasps> it's a penguin oh he just looks like the happy feet penguin doesn't he he's gorgeous so 107 is the penguin that's at the end oh i don't think the penguin's got any crystals on them we're gonna have to sort that out aren't we um, so yeah, he's all just regular drills. So blacks and greys, as you would imagine, for the penguin. Blues for the present. And oops, is it? And then some white for his face. So um, I might not bring up the penguin himself, but I will certainly do the present. Um, so all those, those J's which are white on all the, the present there, I think I will put some um, crystals on there, the silver crystals, clear crystals. And also we'll get some blue crystals, I think, around that F for the, for the bow. 
definitely bring the present up a little bit. But we may leave the penguin as is. There's a drill falling out somewhere. Okay, well, just get rid. As long as it's just the one. <laughs> oh, we've got the donkey and the cute little puppy. It's like a little border collie puppy. Uh, this one is a 111. Oh, this one's got some crystals. Uh, I think that that's probably going to be in the in the leaves at the side as well. So we have um like the same hello to one another. Hello. So yeah, our crystals are, are greens and red and they are K to N. So yes, up here and uh, down here and over here, the greens and the reds of the foliage. Now, we've got white, which is J, which is in the dog and also in the donkey's uh, muzzle there. But I think I will put either uh, white ABs or uh, clear crystals in the J's on the foliage. Again, just give it a wee bit more sparkle. It's Christmas! <laughs> Christmas! We sparkle at Christmas. Um, so we've got some, um, now we're going into the colours for the animals now. So we've got some grey, dark grey, various shades of tan and brown. And then we've got some, uh, another sort of like pale tan and we've got some greys and I think that might be a black. Mm. Yep, it's black. So that is our donkey and our little puppy dog. It's so cute. I tell you, I I I've seen um as I said, I've seen a few people um predominantly um Liz at Scotty Dog Crafts um unboxing and and showing a lot of these cars she, uh, back in um where was it June. Yeah, I think it was. It was June, wasn't it? Um, she she did a card a day. Um, not just Christmas cards. I don't, I don't even I can't even remember if there was any Christmas cards in there. There might have been, but she had like a lot of cards, and I was like, I saw them, and I was like, wow, you know, these these look really good, you know, compared with um other cards that I've done from budget sites before. And I must say, they are um super quality. Um, right. So uh, we have a Robin, which is one o four. Okay. And um, this one has crystals. Again, I think the crystals are going to be in the holly. That's got a little bit bent over that plastic, but it's not um, exposed to any of the glue area. So that's good. Oh, and we've got some specials as well. So here's our specials. So like... Um, a slightly larger or round red domed and they're just crying out as uh, holly berries really aren't they and that's right they're going to be holly berries on the card and in terms of crystals we have two different shades of green again that's going to be on our holly leaves and the rest is all um uh, resin drills so we've got the dark browns orange now i think that's going to be for the robin's breast you know i think they, they call them robin red breasts um but actually i think when you actually look at proper photographs of robins they're not red they are sort of like more of an orangey color um yeah so we've got a few reddish browns more browns greys and greys and uh, sort of like yellows and oranges and here's more of a reddy color as well when I say orange, I don't mean bright orange, you know, but like sort of like sort of like an orangey red colour. <laughs> Greys and browns. So again, I don't think the bird should really get anything on it. Um 
but um yeah the holly at the background looks like it could do with a sparkle oh, oh my gosh the, the um the bag has got stuck to itself right that's a robin okay three more to go <laughs> on the cards we have a little blue tit and that is 109 which is here oh he's got lots of sparkles he is all sparkles he is all crystals by the looks of things i would imagine the tree is um is not the branch that he's sitting on but everything else looks like it's crystals but he's going to be super sparkly um, clear, champagne colour, some greens, oh. some blues of course. Wow, four shades of blue in that little birdie. Wow, that's going to look super. Oh no, the tree is getting blinged. So the tree's got um, some brown crystals as well. So this whole thing is crystals. This whole card. Hey, that definitely goes to a special someone, that one. Okay, next one is upside down. Oh, look at that little fella. <laughs> Your little black cat. Okay, it's going to be this one. I don't even need to look at the sign. <laughs> this is uh, this is all got a lot of black in it. So, um, I used to have a black cat. And he was called the black cat. Because he, um, he adopted us. Cats are like that, aren't they? So we had one cat, um, Sonic, uh, he's a ginger tom, named after Sonic the Hedgehog. And Sonic came home with a friend one day, <laughs> and uh, who was a black cat. And uh, so we called him the black cat because he kept coming to us for food and we were, we were naughty and we kept feeding him. Uh, he was obviously uh, didn't have a home when he first arrived because he wasn't in that great condition. So we took him down to the vets and got him checked over, um, got him like, vaccinated, wormed, fle defleed and all that kind of business. And then we phoned up the cat protection people to see. And he was, an, he, was a, he was he was a full Tom cat, a full Tom cat. Anyway, uh, so we phoned up to the cat protection people and they said, um, you know, well, thank you very much for taking them in and doing all, you know, getting them to the vet and everything like that. Um, unfortunately, we've got a big waiting list at the moment for picking up um, full grown tomcats. Um, we would rather not, you know, but they were really full. They were really busy. They didn't have room for a full grown tomcat. They weren't able to take them. And they said, you know, would you be happy keeping a hold of them for a little while if you get them neutered um you know we can you know we can, we can take them in, in when when we get a slot you know but we we would like you to have them um seen to neutered and we kind of thought well you know if we have to go to the, all the trouble of uh, cost of getting them neutered as well as all everything else that we had did and um if they couldn't give us a time or you know when we would um they would take them off our hands we kind of felt it was a wee bit unfair because um, Sonic had now got a wee chum, <laughs> so uh, he stayed and the 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 got um, dropped, so he wasn't the black cat anymore. He was just called Black Cat. So and he lived with us for years and years and years, and um, unfortunately, probably about well, Pe Pepper's about eight, so probably about nine years ago, um, t nine ten years ago. Um, Poor Sonic, um, he got so poorly, uh, he had to, you know, we had to say goodbye to him. And um, just a few months after that, uh, a Black Cat, um, we had to, to say goodbye to him as well because, you know, he, he was old and he had he had medical problems as well. You know, he had um, 
uh, a goiter he had hyperthyroidism and you know we were managing it but it, it wasn't great um but uh he just pined he missed his he missed his wee buddy and he stopped looking after him oh this is so this is turning out so sad he stopped looking after himself you know we, we constantly had to groom him and wash him and and he was just he just pined pined away so he was just we we say he died of a broken heart and i think he did i think he did he missed his wee buddy oh i'm starting to fill up now oh dearie me anyway that's 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 my god that was my gorgeous black cat so yeah lovely black cat anyway <laughs> let's look at some sparkly things to cheer ourselves up and we have some um of these uh small uh, marquees they're not like the teeny tiny marquees they're a fairly decent size and they are going to be all through the leaves around the outside it's like the cat's sitting in a little halo of a pine um leaves pine needles you know peeking through a hole in the branch of a tree maybe um so yeah he's there and uh peeking through the needles some sparkly gems on there and oh the rest of the the pine is also with got the um uh green um oh i'm, I'm throwing now after talking about black cat um rhinestones that's what it is rhinestones and the gems themselves as you can imagine we've got some black a little bit of brown for inside his ears but we've also got these dark dark blues and um, to highlight you know if you have um an animal a, a pet that's that's got a lot of black in it a, a dog a cat a rabbit you know you get rabbits with lots of black in um you'll know sometimes you know you'll see that when the light catches them a certain way you can see these bluish tones in this first so makes them look really pretty right okay that's my cat that took cat took longer than i thought it was going to uh, last but not least we have the wreath and it's got a little two little robins in there it's just the wreath and the bow that are diamond painted the little robins aren't although by default this bag here will belong to them and as you would expect with the wreath we have also got um, some special shapes and crystals. So it's only really the, um, the penguin that didn't have any um, extra special blingy one things. Got a little holly berry gems again. And we've got our little um, green marquees, same as before, for in the wreath for the, um, the foliage. And we've also got a couple of shades of green and rhinestones. That's a really dark green, that one. And a brighter green. And we have some white for like snowy accents. I might swap that out to clear crystals. We'll see how it looks. And now the rest are all regular gems, uh, acrylic. So I've got lots of different shades of green for that wreath. And we've got some nice reds for the bow and some browns for the pine cones in the wreath and some more red for the bow. So that's all. That is the cards. Uh, this is taking a bit longer than I thought it would. I think it's because I've got eight cards to go through there and then I've started chatting about my cat. And... But uh, there's two more things that I need to unbox and show you. So we will move the cards out of the way. Uh, yeah, and card, oops, cards crossed, I think, yeah, I did tell you, yeah, 21 because yeah, I just say it's two pounds something a card. Right, next. Now, these are also Christmas and wintery themed. Um, now, um, Cindy at Diamond Painting Fanatics is doing uh, an event starting oh mid-November. I'm not entirely sure of the exact date. Um, but yeah, mid-November, going to the end of January, uh, up to Snow Good. 
always kind of winter themed and uh, they've also got Christmassy stuff as well. So I've picked up these not just for like Christmas decorations but also for up to snow good. In fact the last thing I'm going to snow show you is you know more wintry than Christmas. I can't believe it's only into September and I'm already thinking about Christmas stuff. Drills. Now, this is, comes with a frame, this painting. So uh, you can buy um, framed kits from Craft Buddy. So this one comes with a silver frame. And a uh, toolkit. Yep, there we go. So we have um, our instruction sheet again, same as one as it was in the cards. And uh, yeah, here it is, framed picture kit. And it's a door. I love these red doors at Christmas, you know, you know the Christmas pictures that have the red doors on them. And this one's got a wreath on it. And this is, says it's full crystal. Um, it's not full crystal, it's... Uh, it's actually got a, a, um, resin drills on there, but um, that's not what I would call full crystal. Full crystal to me is like crystal rhinestones. Um, so yeah, we have our frame. We have a silver frame. Um, we have our toolkit, one pen, bags, boat, same boat, same pen, same bag, same wax as before. We have our um, schematic, so with our drills, DMC numbers, crystal codes. So it says crystal code, it actually means DMC number um, for the regular drills, and then it's got their crystal codes for their specials. Um, so I think um, uh, Liz is an expert on, the, on these codes. <laughs> and here is the picture. Now this is actually on on a board which I wasn't expecting so this is slightly different so this is going to be really cool so um drill up the board insert it into the frame it's got a little border around there as well so you're not drilling right up to the edge you'll see you've got a little border now I must say all these um drill fuels have been super and super clear some of the printing here in the H's is, um, I think it's to do with the fact that it, of the coloured background and that, but um, there's no, nothing really to mix that up. But yeah, really clear. I wasn't expecting a board. There you go, that's a bit different. Um, now, I will measure this, or is it giving you a measurement? I didn't measure the cards, but I will measure this. Um, oh, is this 21 by 25? Um, the actual drill area is 20 by 24 but that 21 to 25 the, includes the border and the frame yes this looks really nice really nice it's going to be a good project um nice mixture of color blocking and confetti in here the um the doors if you would as you would imagine is pretty much all color blocked and that wreath in the middle is just like confetti heaven <laughs> <laughs> if you like your confetti, you'll be happy with the wreath. It's gems. Let's leave the specials to the end. And we will look... Oh, gosh. We'll look at the regular ones. So, massive big bag of... Um, this looks like 666, six, six, maybe. No. Yes, it is 666. Six, six. Massive big bag of 666. Six, six. That's going to be all around the door. The bulk of the door is going to be in 666. Six, six. So nice pale pink. And we've got some more sort of reddish browns. That'll be for the shading in the door. And we have. Oh, they're all coming apart. Doesn't matter. Um, some oh, that's a nice bright green, and some sort of golden yellows and browns, greens and pinks. Where's pink going? Okay, 
All right, so let's go around part of the door there. Uh, lots of greens, as you would imagine, because of the wreath. Very Christmassy, red and green, a little bit of white. I think that's dotted around the door. You know what? I may swap that white out for AB white just because of the placements of them. It's like it's kind of like snow dotted around on the door, so I think I'll swap that white out for an AB white. Well, we have red crystals, which I think might be on the bow. Yes, it is. So we've got the bow is made up of red crystals. And we also have some um, gold crystals. Well, they both are. They are both are. So the gold crystals are, again, outlining the bow and also the baubles here. Oh, and also the red crystals are in these baubles too. Gonna be super sparkly. Three guesses. Holly berries. Yep. <laughs> Holly berries in the wreath. And we've got these same um green marquees that was in some of the cards. Again, that be foliage in the leaf. In the um wreath, sorry. So yes, I, this this looks like fun. Uh, this will go up at Christmas uh, as part of my Christmas decorations. And yes, very nice, very, very nice indeed. Um, let's, because these all fell apart, I to make sure I get them all in the bag so that they're all together. Something's pinged out from somewhere, it must be from one of the cards, or it may have been sitting in one of the bags here because it's. That colour's not in the wreath, that's like a, a pale tan. Right. Okay, so that is our Christmas wreath. Oh, I don't think I said how much this cost. This cost £8.49. You know what, for, for a framed diamond painting, £8.49. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all, at all, at all. Right, okay. Last but not least, and it is the last, I promise, we have a diamond painting, and it's a 30 by 30 diamond painting. Now, I've done a couple of their um, 30 by 30s before. It's um, stretched on a wooden canvas, and um, I did a, did a healing coup, I did some gorgeous butterflies, and this one is... moon gazing here isn't that gorgeous it says partial crystal here so um i, th I don't know it looks like it's full drill but it looks like there might be it looks like there's some specials in amongst it definitely i think it looks like we've got some um on the berries here now that i don't think that's holly because it doesn't have the, the foliage it's maybe rowan berries or something but yeah let's have a look at this So this is definitely up to snow good Sunday. Definitely up to snow good. Gorgeous. When I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, this is so lovely. So, so lovely. Bits of cardboard. Right. Okay, so everything comes sealed. In a plastic bag inside the box. Now, this cost me um, $16.99 for a framed 30 by 30 diamond painting. Again, you know, <coughs> actually, you know, for that price, you know, I know you can get 30 by 30s for like, you know, just a few pounds, but this has got crystals in it. It's got special, it's got special shapes in it. It's also got, um, it's also mounted and framed on a stretch canvas. So I think, I think that's, that's pretty, pretty decent price. Two trays in this one, one with a spout, one without. Loads of bags, a couple of pens, comfort grips. I don't have comfort grips in the other ones. Hmm, <laughs> I just realized that. Uh, three places, two or three places at the end. And this time we have a little cadio wax. Um, the 
seam um, instruction sheet and guide. Oops, there's a bit of thread. Let's, uh, I was going to pull it and when I thought then I realised pulling is probably not a good idea. So we will snip it instead. There we go, that's gone. Right, uh, this time the code is, uh, oops, this time the code is on the back of the canvas and printed on there. Yeah, we've got a crystal and a special shape by the looks of things. 001, I would imagine, is a clear, and that looks like it's, well, we did see it, didn't we? It's um, a large round red. Mm -hmm. DMC numbers as well. So there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, so much confetti. <laughs> I've chosen confetti, confetti, confetti. Um, colour blocking up in the sky, but um, yeah, the the hair and the and, um. So yeah, I think these might be rowan berries. Maybe um, the reason I know is because my mum had a rowan tree in her garden, and it kind of produced berries like that around about the winter in the winter time. Um, these I can't remember what these are called. I'm not too sure that I, I've, you know you see them about these like hedgerow plants. These look like leftover thistles. What's left after the the thistles flowered? Ooh. Anyway, lovely here. Certainly makes you think of hedgerows and countryside and. It's really lovely. How many colours have we got in this? 25. 25 colours. Which is a good number of colours. So on its own, a little bit of creamy colour, so like pale beige. Now, as you can imagine, there's going to be quite a lot of brown and blue in this. So we've got different shades of brown for the hair, ranging from quite a reddish brown through to a very, very pale, um, pale tan. Oh, it's, it's a nice of like indigo blue, that one. It's almost purple, in fact. But, um, let's see what, it's H. What's the BMC number on that one? 550. But it's the, it must be my light then because 550 is purple, but it, to me it's looking like more like an indigo. But anyway, 550 purple. Where's purple? What did they say that was? H. Oh, it's in the shadow here behind the plants and down on the ground. And cream and mustard and beige and a darker mustard. And here we go into the blues for the sky, and it's got some of my favourite blues in there. Ah, oh, gorgeous. And we've got some more browns. For the hair, more brown for the hair. And blues and tan. Now we've got our white, it looks like a 5200 white, nice and bright. For the snow, um, and we have got uh, crystals as well. So the snow is this is all going to be here. This is going to be fifty two hundred, as is up in the part of the moon here. And actually, it's going to be a little bit on top of the hair as well, just highlighting it and down here, which is going to be gorgeous. But we've also in amongst that, we've also got some clear crystals, so just dotted around. And the snow coming down through the uh, sky, uh, the snowflakes, that's all clear crystal as well. So that's going to look lovely. And then, of course, we've got these large round red gems for the berries. <gasps> Very nice. Very nice indeed. So, quick recap. And it will be a very quick recap because <laughs> there were so many about this going on for quite a while. I'm starting to get hungry. Is it lunchtime? Five to twelve. It's lunchtime. <laughs> we have got my belly says it's lunchtime. <laughs> so we have got the hair. This is gorgeous. Up to snow good. 
Oh, we have got the other um, framed canvas, which is actually on a board, which is the red door with the wreath. We have our selection of eight Christmas cards. Can you see all them? Our eight Christmas cards. And then we have our little little tree card which i you know I, I bought the christmas cards but I, I bought this as well to try a card and um and yeah it's uh helped me bump the postage up to get my or the or help me bump my, my order up to get my kit <laughs> my um my storage you think about it, right? I was going to buy all these. And that didn't come to enough to get my free storage. So I bought a little card. So essentially, for the cost of the card, £3.20 or whatever it was, I've got the card and I've got a storage case. So you can't knock that. <laughs> you can't knock that at all. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Yeah, we're starting on Christmas, guys. We're starting on Christmas. I haven't even got Halloween out of the way yet. <laughs> so, um, if you could give the video a big thumbs up if you've liked it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you would like to, um, if you could hit the subscribe button as well, it would be very, very much appreciated. I would love to have you join me here on my channel. Um, you can see some of these cards come together. I have actually got another craft buddy box sitting here um which i'm going to unbox uh well i'm going to unbox it straight after this well i'm gonna have my lunch first i'm gonna unbox it straight after this and uh i'll post the video up you know you know a, a little while after i've posted this one because you don't want too many craft buddy unboxings one after the other and um you can see what's in that box then as well so um i'll catch you all later i'm gonna go and have something to eat now yeah see you later cheerio